Hi, this is another part of how to build a CRM. If you're coming to this, I think this is going to end up being uh, video five. There are four other ones before it, so go ahead and take a look at those and get caught up. And we are going to get going here. But um, before I move forward, I want to kind of talk a little bit about what we have right now. And also, if you see this one issue up here, it's the Google Map key it wants. I'm not going to add a Google Map key. It's not worth the time. So when we look at the different pages we have set up, right, we want to think about where we want to go next. So if I go to accounts, I can bring up accounts. So if I click on an account, that's going to take me to my view account page, which I can put action activities in, right? So I have these activities associated with the account. So one thing I also want to have is tasks. So I want to have tasks, which would be basically an incomplete activity. Uh, this would be something that I would want to be able to assign to myself to do later. So on my sidebar here, I'll probably add in later a little button that says tasks. So when I click on tasks, I can go right there. And that might be how I plan my day as a sales rep, um, it'd most likely be at least. So if I'm coming into work, I know it's 8 a.m., I click on tasks. These are the tasks I have to do today. I can just quickly rifle through the calls I have to have happen. Uh, maybe it's just a series of people I need to remember to call. Um, maybe some of them are related to my opportunities I'm trying to complete. So we need that, right? Um, we also want those tasks to be related to a company and to a contact. That way we have the task associated to who I'm going to call, right? So if I put in a task to say, check in with Lori to see whether the, if the deal got approved by her boss, I can say, cool, make a task, put it in, call Lori, and I can even leave myself a note and say, like, Lori's available after 3 p.m. most days. Um, and these are a little bit different than activities we've put in already because these are completed. So when we built out activities, we built them out as just any kind of thing, right? So we didn't do a search for ones that are completed. We didn't even create a completion function. So when we start creating tasks, we're going to have to look at adding something here that is basically a yes, no for activity completed. Um, and then basically have those activities attributed then to contacts. So we're going to add more parts to activities. We're also going to create um, another page just for adding activities. We also want to be able to adjust our accounts. So when I click the account page, I go to this list of accounts and I can add a new account here but say I have prospects I'm working with and I have accounts I'm working with I want to be able to have this list show me prospects and I want to have a little button up here I filter for prospects or a drop down right so I might have three things in my drop down it might say prospects it might say accounts and then it also might say my accounts because maybe I have a series of sales reps and I assign accounts to them so on the account, I also need to add the account owner, which would be a team member. So that way, I'm able to have them say, these are the accounts you're responsible for. Go get them. And then I'm also going to make, uh, coming up after that, we are going to need to make products. So that's completely different than anything else we've done. Um, it's similar to how we add companies. We're basically going to build ourselves a small form under settings where we're going to shoot in, you know, this product, this product, this product. Um, and this will give us the ability to then use products inside of opportunities, which will give us the ability to have deal stages, which will give us the ability to have closed one and closed lost deals, which will be the ability to finally, after all of this, run sales reports. And at the end of everything, generate an invoice. So we've got good groundwork. Let's get started on making tasks. So what I want to do first is go into data and I want to take a quick look at activities. So I put in some activities, but if I go to data types, activity, this is 
all I'm tracking on here. Right? I have the contact that's associated to, which is good. I have the what I don't have is completed. There's a few different ways you can do this. I'm actually just going to do text real quick. Um, I'm going to do text because it's sometimes it's easier just to do a text box even for like yes, no, I think. Um, unless you have triggers that are making flipping something in between. Uh, yes and no because I'm just going to filter by yes and no for that being completed or incomplete. So what I want to do, go back to my activities. I'm going to create a drop down. And I will, placeholder here will be activity completed. It will be static choices. It will be yes or no. And it should not be empty. Great. And then we will go into log activity. And completed will equal this drop down activity completed value. So now we have yes and no's being put in with this, right? Great. So then I want to go back here to my view account. And this, I want to now change to be completed activities. So I am searching for activities with this account, and I want the completed to equal yes because we're I said yes there close now jump into the account we have set up in here Oh, yeah, we didn't build out accounts, obviously. So I can just push preview. Great. So, so all of my data is just being stored in one place. I don't have any delineation between different users that log in yet for their data, which is something that if we do that in this series will come much later. So I'll click on accounts here. This will take me to my list of accounts. Great. Our two test companies, Terst and Test1. Great. So... Notice this activities is empty now, and it should also be on the other one, and that's because we are now filtering for ones that are completed. So our original group we put in here was never logged as completed. So I'm going to click log activity, and actually our quick voicemail button we have to update too because that doesn't give it a, um, we'll make it a call called, call again, today is fine, we completed it, login activity, takes us back here, and now call shows up, and now I can click on call, and it will show up here. So what do we notice here? We need a completed here, so on our view activity, account oh activity details is what we called it there we go we need a drop down again default value will be current pages activities completed yes no there we go perfect so now when we go here, we can also have it so we can change this. So if I click on this, make changes to activity, it saves all of these. We also want to change the completed again, and we want that to be should be multi-line drop down piece value. Let's see here. Obviously, it's not multi line drop down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it is B. Perfect. So now we'll change, save that here. So where else do we need to do, take a look? Because we lost all those, uh, we lost all of those old activities we put in. 
I'm not concerned about them. Um, going forward, it's kind of nice to have less data in it that we can only put in new stuff that will um, will show up how we want it to. But when I go back to my view account page, we've got completed activities. So I'm going to change this to say completed activities. And we have contacts. And we have this little button here. It makes a voicemail activity. And we want to just quickly mark that completed. Equals yes. Yes. There. And then we'll go back and we'll just quick make sure that works. It should. Well, I don't have an account loading up here, but it should still make random activities with the blank data. If I had an account, I'll just go to my accounts. So back to test one. Phil, voicemail. Phil got a voicemail. Perfect. And now we have that. It's nice to see the completed activities. I personally would prefer to view this and I have a sales background, so when I view an account that I want to call, I want to see the company name, their location, information, so I know you know I'm calling them at the right time of day. I'm not calling someone in California at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? It's embarrassing. So I have their contacts. That's important. I also want to view somewhere in here. I want to place tasks, and I want to place opportunities. So I'm going to make space for those because completed opportunities is great or completed activities is great, but I don't necessarily need that as front and center as I do in completed activities, right? So I'm actually just going to go here, copy, copy with workflows. I don't think we have any workflows running off this, but I always like to copy with workflows than without. And then I will line this right up here. Great, so this is two of the same table, right? So all we're gonna do is we have current pages activities. We're gonna change completed from yes to no. And if I capitalize this anywhere else because we're filtering simply based on a word, I wanna put the exact same typing here. So if I did a lowercase n here, it wouldn't filter right. But for some things, that's easier. Just copy this to ha. if we can spell right there. And this is upcoming activities. I doubt I'm going to need as many of those. I'm going to put four there. So I want to put leave space. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put opportunities above this. So I think we're good. I'm just going to, I'm going to make this contacts button smaller too. There, move it there. I'll play with it later. That works for now. I don't know why it bugs me. Oh, probably because they're all lowercase. There. So now we have completed tasks and uncompleted tasks. Um, we also are going to want to add, so this is log activity. Um, we can use this same one to schedule future tasks. So if I click here, I go into it. Oops, I clicked on the button thinking it would take me to the page for some reason. So actually what I want to do is I want to go to the log activity page, obviously. Design. So if I put in a new activity here and I put it with a future date and the activity completed, no, it should show up in that other list now. So we'll just preview. And we'll do that and hope it shows up. And 
we will go to accounts, primarily working out of test one. And if you change what the button says, instead of log activity, I change it to um, create activity dash task in it. There we go. So I can make it like this, right? So say I have a meeting. My meeting is fill door is what I want to title it. Say I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's not completed. Log activity. Now, it should, upcoming meeting, this is the time it's supposed to happen. So, there we go. We gotta get these, that time to stop showing up, but it's it's a little thing I'm just wanting to put in the basic functionality now. What I like to do is I like to put, basically put things together, and then once it's together, I go through and start cleaning up the little bits to make it feel just right, you know? So. Around each one of these, I'll probably put a floating box that makes it look prettier, and that way you're going this section, this section, this section. I might even make parts of this collapsible, so you could take it and you could say, well, completed activities, you push a button, and then this box shows up. But right now, we're actually starting to look like a CRM. I also kind of want to make that floating. But it's starting to look like an actual CRM. We just need some opportunities in here. And also having the boxes around them would make them look look a little bit better, I think. So starting to look like a CRM. Still nowhere near Salesforce, but we're going to start um, doing some account work here in the next video where we're going to go in and we are going to simply make it so accounts can be prospects or customers. And this will give us the ability then to go ahead and add more um, filtering to that accounts page. So we'll do that. And then the video after that, we will make products and opportunities probably as one video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you like it and you want to see more. That way, you know, know there's more people watching. So making these videos uh, to help people. So I, uh, when I started learning Bubble, I wanted to learn how to make a CRM. Uh, I've learned that, I learned how to make a whole bunch of other stuff um, in a short period of time. So I encourage you, if you're looking at Bubble, you're just trying to learn right now, keep learning, keep going. A lot of basic functions can do very complex things and you'll start looking at products that you'll see that they might even sell to like enterprise level companies that you can rebuild in Bubble. I um I built a simple version of a product in a weekend. It literally took the weekend, but it was a simple version of an enterprise level product that you could take and use at a small business. It just needed to be polished, but you can do stuff like that with Bubble. You can take things and you can look at them and you can say, okay, how does this work? Especially if it's database. Right, So if you have anything where people are collecting data and using that data and displaying that data, or something with forms especially, you're able to take Bubble and you're able to easily just start taking this um, solution and plugging thing and just building out forms and make stuff. So for instance, we're making a CRM right now, but all the principles inside of building a CRM, they're very similar for a lot of other kinds of apps. Especially, again, if you're doing anything that's, you know, related to data or related to tracking. So if you're doing, if you wanted to make an app for HR professionals that tracks people clocking in, clocking out, similar to making an activity, right? If you want to also track, you know, write-ups, similar to making activities, again, people putting in contacts, logging things that happen with contacts, you know, so... Keep your mind open. Keep thinking about different stuff. Learning how to build one thing helps you learn how to build other things. And subscribe.